hi guys welcome to my channel my name is Mary uh, as you can see this is my first YouTube video and so I don't really know what I'm doing but that's okay I'll get through this uh, this is a video about Shein the clothing company um, I recently started seeing ads pop up on Facebook all the time for Shein uh, always super cute clothes and so I started to do a little bit of research um, to see reviews and how people liked it and the fit and everything so of course, naturally, I went to YouTube um, and started finding Shein try-on videos. Um, I fall under the curve plus size for Shein, so either you find um, videos for the regular, um, which don't really give you a good idea of the fit for a curvier woman, um, or you find the plus size videos. And I was looking and I really couldn't find a video of somebody trying on the clothes that was similar to my body type. Um, while all the videos were super helpful, uh, more like the quality and all of that, I really wanted to see somebody more my body type. Unfortunately, I couldn't find that. So I still decided to give it a go. I ordered 14 items uh, back in mid-April and it took about 13 days. Um, they arrived yesterday. I was so excited and um, I want to say that from the looks of them, they look super cute. I did order within my comfort zone. Um, you'll notice a lot of black, um, a few things outside of my comfort zone because the prices were so reasonable, but um, I wanted to do a try on video. So if you are similar to my body type, um, hopefully you find this video helpful and I'll try to give as many details as possible about the size I ordered, um, what the quality is like and all of that. Uh, to give you a little bit of information, I fall between a size 12 14 US so I'm right on the cusp of being the regular sizes on Shein or the curve plus sizes um, So the majority of the items I ordered were 1x. I believe I have one um, 0x But we'll get to that. Um, so yeah, let's just jump right in All right, so this is my first item um, I'm already wearing it because I really really like it so this was ordered in a 1XL and it is the uh, plus tie-dye twist hem tee. So as you can see, um, it is super cute, good for spring, good for summer. Um, short sleeve, the twist hem is right here in the front, um, kind of lays right almost at the waist. Um, it's a soft material. Um, not much else to say other than it's really comfortable. I really, really like it. Um, you'll see a similar one I also ordered in a, a bright tie-dye. Um, but yeah, I have to say this was well worth it. Um, I will link the prices in the video just so you can see um, how reasonable they are for what you get. But um, as far as my first item trying it on, uh, I have to say I'm a fan. Alright guys, so this is the second shirt. Um, it's a t-shirt. Uh, I love my dogs. I have two dogs. They're both mixes. Um, but it says, sorry, I can't. I have plans with my dog. Um, this was ordered in a 1X. I would say I would size down one or two sizes um, because it is actually uh, oversized, it feels like. So for this shirt, I would definitely, you know, do a little tie in the front. So I'm not going to return it or anything. I can make it work um, as a larger size. So just kind of tie it, a knot in the front, might roll the sleeve. But um, so a 1X, but definitely a little large. Um, this shirt was $11, probably a little more than I would normally spend on just a t-shirt. But I think I got in a buying frenzy um, and just kept adding stuff to my cart. And again, I love my dog so much. So um, $11 for this cute dog shirt. Um, if you like them oversized, uh, 1X is what I ordered. But again, I would probably size down if I could um, just to get it a little bit smaller. Um, and then the shirt, I first tried on the black um, tie-dye hem. Um, that was also $11, but I will link all the prices and items below. Hey guys, so I thought I would just insert a little clip. I mentioned how much I love my dogs. Um, I am working from home during this COVID pandemic. Um, so 
you may hear one of them whining in the background, but it seems fitting to insert a little clip of them since um, the shirt I bought mm -hmm. is about them. So you may notice one behind me. We are sharing a dining chair. Um, he mm -hmm. thinks that he um, should always be up here sharing this chair. Um, he especially likes to look out the front window and watch for dogs or um, joggers walking by. I live on um, sort of a busy street. A lot of people use this street um, to walk. Uh, it has sidewalks on both sides. And so um, that keeps him busy looking out. Then my other one here is in his bed. That's who you hear whining. His name is Tank. He, um, during the winter months, is especially lazy. But as soon as it starts getting nicer here in central New York, um, we start playing fetch with him in our backyard. And as soon as he gets a taste of that, that's all he wants to do. So that is him um, whining, telling me he wants to go out and play fetch. So we'll be heading out here soon. Um, so that was Tank, and behind me, again, that Spike. He is um, a rescue from the SPCA. He's about five and a half years old. Um, he was uh, about three and a half when we got him. And Tank, down there, we got it six weeks old, um, very young, from East Coast Adoptions up here um, in Central New York. I think they're also in Delaware as well. Um, but they transport dogs from high kill areas down in the south, like Alabama, and bring them up here. So we got him um, as a very young puppy. So both rescues, that's where my heart is. Um, I love my dogs, so I just thought I would insert this clip, uh, a little personal um, anecdote from me, and now back to the video. All right, so this is that other Twist Chem um, t-shirt that I said I ordered. So sort of similar to the first one that was black, um, however, different material. Um, this is soft still, but more, uh, feels more like a t-shirt material. Um, also, it is slightly shorter. As you can see, it doesn't quite hit um, the waist. Uh, the front actually is a little bit higher than my belly button. So for me, obviously, I'm wearing higher waisted jeans. I think I prefer that with a top like this. Um, I don't usually like to show too much of um, the midsection. But super cute, um, thick enough material, as I, you can't even tell, but I am wearing a um, dark colored bra underneath, so you really can't see through it. So that's a plus. Um, shows, you know, somewhat good quality at least. Uh, super cute, tie-dye trend is super in right now. You see everyone making their own tie-dye um, sweat outfits and things like that. So, um, again, I really like it. It's a little bit shorter than the first black one. I think I like the black one a little bit better. Um, this one in comparison is only $10, so it's a dollar less than the other one. Um, again, worth it. I'll be taking a trip to Myrtle Beach, hopefully, um, the end of August into the first week of September if all this COVID stuff doesn't get in the way. So when I was shopping, I was really trying to pick out items that would be good for a beach vacation. Um, so I think this would work perfectly. And it is a 1XL as well. Um, again, all items were ordered as a 1XL except one, which I'll note, um, and I'll link below. Okay, so this is the next top. Um, this is actually the one that I ordered in a 0XL. Um, only $7, so let me start out by saying super reasonable um, for a top like this with some lace. Um, really soft, stretchy material, um, comfortable. It's all around um, really nice. It It is a little bit smaller than the rest of the tops I've tried on, so I think I am more of a true 1XL at Shein. Um, but for a top like this, um, I do work in an office environment, um, so I would probably throw a blazer or a cardigan on over this, so I actually don't mind that it's a little bit smaller since it'll be more of like an under um, tank. So you see the lace detail. The neckline does come up pretty high um, at the actual neck. Um, again, soft material. I live in central New York and we um, have stores called Maurice's. I think they're kind of all over now. But um, about six or seven years ago, I bought a top very similar to this. And um, I fell in love with it, and I still wear it to this day. So to find one similar for only $7, 
you really cannot beat that. Um, so I'm really happy with this. Um, I would say, you know, if you're more like my body type and you don't like things as form fitting, you would probably stick with a 1XL in this. Um, but if you're like me and you plan to wear it under something, um, I would I would stick with the 0XL like I did. Um, definitely compare it with work pants, tuck it in with a nice skirt with the blazer. Um, you know, just a simple black top that works great in the office. Okay, guys, let's talk about this shirt. I feel so good in this shirt. Um, it is just so cute. So this is a obviously black puff sleeve top. Um, you can see the gold button go down the side. Um, it is a little bit more form fitting. This is a 1XL. It um, is perfect to be worn on its own. Um, again, pair it with a skirt or um, work pants, tuck it in or whatnot. But the sleeves, they are a bit puffier than what I would normally wear. But I really like the exaggerated sleeve because it just adds to, I think, the fashion element of this top. Um, this top was only $10. So for all that you get for $10, you just, you cannot beat it. Um, it did also come with a spare button in case one does come off. So for such an affordable company like Shein, you wouldn't think they would send extra pieces for if the clothes, you know, do have a little bit of a uh, mishap, but you do get an extra button. And um, again, 1XL, it's um, really comfortable. I really, again, have no complaints about this. I would say um, this button here kind of hangs a little bit weird sometimes depending on where it falls, but not a big deal at all um, for all that you get in this top for $10. Um, yeah, I, again, I work in the office environment, so this would be a perfect top to wear um, spring, summer. Uh, it might be a little warm for summer, but if you work in an office like me, you know that sometimes it can feel way colder inside than outside. So um, I actually wouldn't mind wearing this in the summer as well. So yeah, I um, have to say I'm really in love with this top. All right, so this is an outfit I put together. Um, I actually have another top to try on with these shorts, but these shorts, I saw them on there, and I just thought they were the cutest pair of shorts for summer um, with our holidays like Memorial Day, uh, July 4th, Labor Day. I just love them. Um, as you can see, they do have pockets, um, belt loops. They're a denim material and um, stars all over the front and the back. They are a little bit long um, right here, so the fit is a little weird. Um, I still love them, don't get me wrong, but they are very much high-waisted. They come above my belly button, which is fine because I did get more of crop tops to wear with it, um, so I think it still works. Um, you have the distressed look, um, the fringe kind of on the bottom, the loose frayed um, material, but these shorts are maybe one of my favorite pieces for the summer. Um, they were a 1XL, I based it on um, size 14, so I would say the waist fits really good. The bottom's a little bit bigger, um, I'm almost like two sizes in one in this pair of shorts, um, where this fits perfectly, but I'd like to size down a little bit um, because, as you can see, there's quite a bit of room. But regardless, um, I really like the shorts. This top is just a simple um, racerback crop black top. Um, nothing special about it other than, you know, you can pair it with um, these shorts, wear over the summer. Uh, very simple. Um, yeah, so it's actually... Uh, really cute. So as far as the prices go, um, the shorts were one of the more expensive items that I picked out. They were $16, um, but I think for what you get, um, I think it's worth it. And then the uh, cami top was only, I believe, $6.
Um, I'll double check that, but yeah, six dollars. Solid rib knit cami top. So this is the first top to pair with these shorts. I'm gonna go ahead and put on the other top, which is a one shoulder. Um, but yeah, I think overall, I uh, I'm a fan. All right, so still have the star shorts on. Um, this time I went for a little bit more of a cropped top, um, one shoulder clearly. Uh, this is something I plan to wear when I'm down in Myrtle Beach, um, which I'm so excited about. So again, very simple black um, top. It is the one shoulder, um, but overall I think paired together for a beach vacation, you can't really beat it. Again, $16 for the shorts. Um, the one shoulder, let's see, was $6 again. So not that bad. I would actually like to buy it in other colors. I'll have to check and see if there are other colors in this. Even in the um, rib knit cami, I would like that in other colors for some of my high-waisted jeans or shorts that I'll wear um, over the summer. But yeah, um, I would say overall, again, I love pretty much everything I got from Shein uh, for my first haul, which on a lot of the try-on videos, um, it seemed to be hit or miss. I really tried to do my research and read the reviews and look at pictures of how it fit um, different items before I bought them. So I think that research paid off um, because everything I got fit, which um, was awesome. And the quality, I would say, is just as good as anywhere else you go, like Forever 21, um, Maurice's even, that may be a little bit better. Um, but the cost is also triple than what you're getting um, here. So overall, I would say um, I'm definitely going to order from Shein again. I have a few more items to try on, so let me get started. All right, so I did go ahead and order two different sports bras just to see the quality. Um, I love Victoria's Secret sports bras, obviously, but you're going to pay um, the cost for them. So this is a two-tone um, sports bra. It was only $7. No, $8. I'm sorry. $8, a size large, and um, it's a racer back. The fit overall is really good. Um, it does have some like padding cups inside. They do seem to be a little bit small, so it kind of creates like a shelf effect here, so I may just take them out. Um, but overall, it's really comfortable, stretchy, um, feels like it would just be an overall really good um, sports bra. So yeah, this I would recommend ordering sports bras from Shein as well. All right, so here is the second sports bra that I ordered. Um, I did order a swimsuit that I'll be trying on too, but I just want to say this almost feels like it could also be worn as a swim top. Um, see the mesh here, the line mesh here, the back has the opening. Um, this is an extra large um, contrast mesh cutout back sports bra. Um, extra large, only $7. Um, I, I think I am a true large when it comes to the sports bras at Shein. This does feel like it's a little bit big, like it may shift in places if I wear it to work out. Um, but I still really like it. And for $7, you can't beat it. Um, stretchy, really comfortable. Feels like you're not even wearing anything. Um, so yeah, overall, again, I recommend trying these um, sports bras from Shein. So this isn't the full swimsuit that I ordered, um, but this is just a marble um, top that I ordered. It's strapless. It didn't come with straps to attach or anything. It's a true strapless top. Um, I really like the design. Um, I'm not one to typically wear strapless tops, so if I'm just, uh, you know, in Myrtle Beach going to maybe lay on the lazy river or just lay out in the sun, I might wear this, but if I'm going to be in the pool with my nephews playing around, probably not. Um, but this again, this was only a 0XL, so I did order two items that were 1XL. Um, so 0XL, $7. So for one piece of a swimsuit, $7 really is not that bad. Um, it's really cute. 
I really like it. Um, feels like it'll stay up, you know, if I'm not doing too much activity. But, um, and I do have my own pair of plain black bottoms that I can pair it with. Um, but you can still see I'm wearing the star shorts. I just don't want to take them off. I love them so much. Um, so yeah, this is the top. I think I'll go into the actual um, two-piece swimsuit that I bought um, as a set. And then I have one more top to try on after that. All right, so finally, I am to the two-piece swim um, set that I bought. You can tell it's just like a floral um, kind of Hawaiian flower bottom, high-waisted, goes right up to my belly button, and then it came with this plain black um, top. The straps are adjustable, um, and overall, the swimsuit is very comfortable, um, feels sturdy enough, like it, it fits, it's not going to go anywhere. Um, again, I'll be wearing this in Myrtle Beach when I go. Very simple, um, very comfortable for me. I like the short bottoms. Um, it's just my personal preference. And um, overall, I really, really like their swimsuits. So this swimsuit was sold as a set um, for $16. I did order the 1XL. Um, I think it fits perfectly. I, I wouldn't size up or down on it. The top even fits really good. Um, I did adjust the straps to make it tighter. Um, just to kind of bring it up a little. But overall, um, I really highly recommend the swimsuits for $16 for a set. Um, you can hardly find swimsuits on clearance at Target for $16 um, for a set. And this was just their regular price. Um, so, yeah, I highly recommend them. This is my second to last item. Um, this is a sport romper that I ordered, um, again, probably from Myrtle Beach. It is a 1XL. Um, it does have a clasp button here, so that keeps it nice and closed. Um, adjustable straps, I've already adjusted them just a little. Um, shorts in the back, not too short, uh, which is nice. Uh, the sport um, part does come down lower than the shorts um, to like that asymmetrical look. Um, it's a kind of faux wrap. Um, it's stitched together right here, so it gives you that that kind of look. Um, overall, I really like it. I may consider um, next time when I order a romper or something, I may size up because on the back side, it is just a little bit tighter. Um, but overall, I don't think it's that bad. I don't think it's too tight. Um, just, you know, comfort level and whatnot. But for a vacation, I would say this is a nice, light, um, one-piece outfit that you could just pair with some sandals, with maybe a necklace, and you're good to go. Um, so this, again, was a 1XL, and it was only $12. So you really can't beat it. Um, it's comfortable. It really is. I um, don't really have any complaints about the item itself other than my sizing. Um, I may actually to go up a size. So there's the back. Um, but yeah, overall, still really happy. All right, finally, my last item. Um, it is more of like a leopard print peplum style top. Um, I just put back on my jeans. It's comfortable. Uh, the sleeves right here, there's this stitching. Um, so it does kind of make it a little bit more form-fitting um, right on my arm. So even though the rest of the top feels a little bit flowy and kind of oversized, I don't think I could size down. I don't think the arms would then fit. Um, the shirt itself, this part is a different material um, than this. Um, but I think that just, that's cute. So peplum style, um, again, I feel like it is a little bit oversized, but on like a Friday at work, I could just throw this on with a pair of pants, um, kind of more of a casual Friday, but still look a little bit dressed up. Um, this was a 1XL, and it was 11 Sorry, the last clip cut off, um, but that last item, the one I'm actually still wearing, um, was $11. So 
at the end of all of this try on, um, like I said, going into it, I thought the items were all really cute. Um, after having tried them on, I couldn't be happier, honestly, um, with this order. I think that I will start building a cart of items again at Shein to order. Um, I think right now they have a deal where it's um, like $30 off of $150 or something like that, or $180. Um, but there seems to always be some sort of promo code that you can put in. Um, in no way was I sponsored or given any of these items. I purchased them all on my own. Um, and so I hope that you found this video helpful. Um, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe. I may end up doing more videos of try-ons. Um, I don't have any plan for the future, but um, I have to say this was kind of fun um, getting to talk about clothes. I mean, what's better than that? So um, leave some comments of anything you'd like to see or uh, what you liked, what you didn't like, any questions you might have. Um, I'm totally open to uh, learning as I go through this and um, hearing from all of you. Uh, I hope you consider ordering from Shein, and if you do, let me know your thoughts. Um, but this was just a really fun experience, so thank you for tuning in, and um, hope to see you soon.